The Celaya Museum actually started in the 1950s and its purpose is to really preserve and tell the story of Salida and the surrounding area. And we do that in many ways. We have plenty of artifacts here, but also we try to tell a little bit more of the local story and, and add a few of the colorful characters that we have uh, in our history. So when you first come into the Salida Museum, we have exhibits that try to orient you to the local area. Uh, we have a huge picture wall uh, where we show the progression and the growth of Salida as a city. We also have an exhibit on the train because obviously Salida itself would not have happened if the Denver and Rio Grande had not come into the area and platted Salida as a town. We also include uh, a little information on mining and in the area because that was such a critical reason why the railroad came into the Salida area. You'll find other really interesting things about early Salida. For example, we have uh, a schoolhouse. We also have the Knights of Pythias, a very interesting group, sort of like the Elks or the Masons or other charitable organizations. And they're typically associated with the railroad. From there, you move on and you get to see our general store set up. Next door to that, we have our Tuesday Evening Club exhibit. And then back in the corner, we have a little bit about our uh, local doctors and physicians opticians, pharmacists in the area. So in the south room we have a parlor set up that would have been set up around the turn of the century. We have um, a few items from Laura Evans who is a notorious madam of Salida. On the other side of the south side we have a lot about World War I and II and then is our most of what we have in that side of the museum is our Native American collection. So we have a lot of beaded items baskets, pottery, a wide variety of items from the Native American community. So in the center of the South Room at the back we have quite a bit of minerals uh, laid out and in one case we have quite a bit of minerals that are in Chafee County. Fibark is one of our favorite exhibits here. The thing about Fibark that people don't understand is that it's been around since 1949. And when you see the boats that they ran, and you see how big the waves were, you think these guys were nuts. If you want to know about Salida and the surrounding areas, we can tell the story of the area. We can talk about the things that make Salida uniquely Salida. And we'd love to come share what we know from the railroad to minerals to recreation, which is a big part of our lives today and all the colorful characters that came in between all of those items and all of those events.